If you're reading this online, then whatever device you are using has been allocated a unique address. Without it, your requests would simply disappear into the electronic ether, never to be seen again. This address is actually determined by the protocol which underlies the internet. TCP IP, commonly called an IP address. These addresses are numeric in format and will look something like this. If they're used to access the internet, they'll be unique. They must be allocated from a central database. If you don't connect your devices to the internet, you can use any numbers you like as long as you keep to the correct format. We commonly refer to these as public IP address, internet facing. Private IP address spaces can be self-assigned or allocated. To connect to the internet though, they must be unique and assigned as public addresses. Your IP address can be used to determine lots of information about you, such as your location, including your real physical address. Plus, who's your internet provider? Of course, when you combine it with other sources, such as computer, browser type, metadata, web history and social media information, the profile created can actually be incredibly detailed and accurate. However, there's even more information available from the IP address. Basically, you can determine whether an IP address is classified as residential or a commercial one. The majority of websites prioritize access to residential addresses simply because they are potential customers. Indeed, many websites have started to block access from all non-residential addresses. For example, the media giant Netflix now blocks all commercial addresses from accessing their service. Basically, residential IP address equals home user equals customer. So basically, generally residential addresses have an open door to all websites, whereas commercial addresses are often blocked, filtered or restricted. To learn more, visit www.residentialip.net.